morning. Um, on behalf of Blue Water Health and Trillium Gift of Life Network, I would like to begin by saying thank you. Currently in Ontario, 1,500 people are waiting for a life-saving organ transplant. Every three days someone dies waiting because there are not enough available organs. Here in Sarnia-Lampton, 37% are registered, so that's great. Congratulations, to have, you have a higher consent rate than the province, but uh, we still have some work to do. A signed donor card does not mean that you are registered. If uh, you are not sure of your status, please visit beadonor.ca and you can check your status there. It only takes three minutes to register your consent. Registration saves lives. Now that you can register online to be a donor in Ontario, the Gift of Eight movement found on beadonor.ca is a new way for individuals and organizations to champion and encourage registration. Gift of Eight provides detailed registration data for communities and regions across Ontario. By increasing the number of registered donors in Ontario, we can eliminate deaths on the wait list and save more lives. You can talk first. Um, well, basically, I hadn't heard anything about organ or tissue donations until um, past about a year and a half when I was told that I had to get a double lung transplant. Um, and since then, um, it's become a huge thing in the media with the new campaign, like Gift of Eight, is that right? Mm -hmm. um, I actually just registered the other day and made a page to put out on my Facebook for my friends. Um, and I found the soda page, so I was linked up with that one as well. Um, but just to promote the organ donation for everything, um, it's becoming a lot easier. And it's a lot more widespread now, I'm finding, whereas before I hadn't really heard of it at all. Um, I'm obviously very thankful for my organ donor um, and the fact that other people are all aware of it now. I have a bunch of friends who have all come up to me and said, oh, I'm registered to be a donor now because we heard you got lungs and we want to be able to do the same thing someday. Um, so it's all been exciting. <laughs> um, yeah, even our daughter, Erin, who just turned 16, got her uh, beginner's permit and uh, new health card, you know, signed up <laughs> after she got a new health card there. She's all excited. So, so it's kind of becoming like a big, not a competition, but kind of like it's more exciting and yeah. everyone is signing up and passing it on. And so hopefully that'll be helpful to others so that they can, you know, experience the same thing that I was able to get. Yeah, through the schools have really been helpful too. That, uh, promoting it. So, you know, Tara's high school, St. Chris, has really put on a lot of effort and really helped us out a lot. And, you know, Soda has been really good, helpful, you know, with us. They've given us some gas cars and then the fundraiser that we had really helps out with the expenses because a lot of what people don't really re know is that like in Tara's case, she just turned 18, and once you turn 18, a lot of the additional help falls off the plate, like Ronald McDonald House and, and uh, you know, a couple other, uh, you know, assistants, you know, that are out there. You know, they're okay when, you know, the children are under 18, but once you're over 18 and you're considered an adult, you know, the funding is just not there anymore. So it's, she's considered an adult. And She's supposed to go out on her own, but uh, <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, it's a hard challenge when you know you're laying at home and you can't breathe and you're on oxygen full time. So, so as a family, obviously we're we're very thankful that somebody took that time to register or to have some kind of consultation after a loss, and it's really hard to think about what that family went through. I mean, I only know what we went through as a receiver. I can only hope that people who who take that option and actually donate something, um, somehow feel that it, it it makes that loss a little bit easier. It's almost like s something good has come, in, come out of something bad. And as John said, it was never usually discussed, but now I really, I, I feel kind of excited that it's out there. You know, it, we're aware. I'm gonna have to find some green attire to help <laughs> promote soda or the donation. Um, but really, I mean, what what can we ask? It's been great. I mean, here's living proof that it actually works, and people. It affects so many people in so many different ways. It's just got to be a positive thing, and really, very little effort. 
to sign up. Right. Yeah. yeah, on the day that Tara had her transplant, there were two donors. And of those two donors that we knew, right in Toronto General at the same day, there were two sets of lungs, two livers, and one heart, all being transplanted at the same day from those two donors. So, it, you know, there was you know, at least five lives that, you know, were changed by two donors, and probably other parts, you know, as well. So it is a big, uh, you know, you, you don't really think about, you know, how much you can impact, you know, other people's lives, but this really does. Blue Water Health has made a commitment to this with Trillium Gift of Life, and we formed a new community partnership with SODA, and we can see what has happened with organ donation and tissue donation. We can see the living proof here. I can't remember not ever being a donor, and just to see that the proof is here, and you know, this is something that's very passionate to me, and it's, I think, passionate within Blue Water Health now, and I can't say that I'm any, any more prouder than this.